people been hot in this hairstyle like it's the freaking Krabby Patty formula. And I'm like, let me go. Hey, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see by the title of the video, we are back again with another lock tutorial. Y'all, new hair who this. Y'all, this hairstyle is so freaking bomb. I've been seeing this hairstyle all over YouTube, all over Instagram, and I've just been trying to figure out how you do this hairstyle. Like, do y'all see these locks? And I finally figured out these are called the butterfly locks. People been hot in this hairstyle like it's the freaking Krabby Patty formula. And I'm like, let me go ahead and put y'all on. Because y'all already know I got multiple faux lock review, passion twist review, braids review all over my channel. So I was like, once I figure out how to do these, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to do it. I'm going to be showing y'all how I part the locks, how I installed the locks, where I got the hair from. I got the hair from Cardia Hair. I think it's called Cardia Beauty Hair. They, is a they are a vendor on Amazon. I am using the passion twist and the Marley hair. I am gonna have all of that in the description box and I am gonna show you guys what products I'm using but yeah I'm gonna first show y'all how my passion not passion twist my um my Martley butterfly locks came out I've been seeing people give these locks all types of names like they've been calling them the the butterfly locks the the passion locks I just been seeing all types of names but y'all these are OD cute uh, I am showing y'all how I did my parting, but before we get into the video, I'm just gonna like really show y'all how the locks came out, and then I'm gonna give y'all a step by step detailed tutorial. But these are the partings. I decided to do triangle parts, and I've been mostly seeing everybody do the the short bob butterfly locks, and I was like, I ain't see nobody with the long one, so I'm gonna do it because I like to be different. So I'm doing it. So these are the locks i'm gonna back up so y'all can see them y'all these locks are really 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 long and i know people be charging three and four hundred dollars for these locks but not here <laughs> not here save your coins sis so i'm gonna just be showing y'all how i got these locks and also excuse what i got on i literally been up all night doing my hair and i look a mess so just please excuse what i got on but y'all, I got my little nightgown on. I'm gonna pull it tight so y'all can actually see how long it is. So my knees is right here and the locks are like, damn, they're touching my knees. I use 24 inch hair, but I feel like this is about 30, 30 to 40 inches. It's really, really long. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see how long it is in the back. Do y'all see that? These locks are just gorgeous, just gorgeous. But I'ma start rambling. I'ma go ahead and show y'all how I got this look. Um, again, all the details on the hair will be in the description box below. I believe this hair was $40 for six packs. I did use about 12 packs of hair. I believe I used three packs of the um, Marley hair and then I used seven or seven to eight to nine packs of the passion twist hair but yeah let's go ahead and get into this video okay y'all so these are the products that i use i use jam a rat tail cone a crochet needle and some edge control um this is the hair that's the passion twist hair that's in the inch 24 and this is the marley hair i am going to open the pack up so y'all can actually see how the hair looks now i'm just gonna show y'all the party y'all this was so hard to do because my hair is so short as y'all know i did cut my hair off about five to six months ago and my hair ain't grow back yet i thought i was gonna have some hair but now nah, y'all i'm still bald headed so that's the update on that also um i'm just showing y'all how i part my hair i definitely would recommend getting a rat tail comb because it just makes the process so much easier um what i do is kind of just part it and then i use jam to like hold it down as y'all can see i'm using this red rubber band to like keep my hair out the way because it's so short but yeah it's pretty self-explanatory how you part your hair you just put the jam on there to lay it down and you just keep doing it until to, until it's straight basically Uh, 
y'all as you can see it took me a while to get this parting together like it was really 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 hard to do this because my hair is so short i honestly didn't think i had enough hair for these butterfly locks but as you can see my hair shook y'all because it so shook me but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and continue to part 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 i'm only gonna show y'all one row it really took about 30 to 40 minutes to just part my hair Oh, now I'm showing y'all how I did the triangle parts. You kind of just part it at an angle. Like, if you did the try, it's like you're basically you're drawing like backwards, backwards um, triangles in your head. And then I make sure I jam each side of the part. You want to make sure your parting is neat as possible. It was really, really hard for me to do the back of my head, but y'all, I did it. <laughs> Also, I did want to mention I used three packs of Marley hair and then I used eight to nine packs of the Passion Twist hair. And you can also get all of these packs from Amazon. I would recommend getting it from Amazon because it's a little cheaper if you go to your local beauty supply store. So boom, I'm finally done doing my parts. Everything is all gelled down. I think I have about 30 to 40 little parts. And y'all, I just thought my hair was so cute. Do y'all see my little puff balls? Like, I thought this was super duper cute. Once my hair go out, I'm definitely going to be doing some Bantu knots. But yeah, that's pretty much the back of the parting. I oiled it all up, jammed it all up. Now it's time to install the locks. So I am going to show y'all how the locks came out um that's one of the locks right there okay so i'm pretty much done with my head i just left a couple little puffs out so y'all can get the gist of how i did it i'm gonna show you one that's a close-up of one of the butterfly locks and y'all it's just so darn cute it's just really 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 cute so this is the passion to his hair in the inch 24 this hair does get tangly very very fast so i always start from the bottom and i unravel the hair After I undo the passion twist hair, I kind of like run my fingers through it a little bit to make it a little thicker. And then this hair right here is the Marley hair. You can get this hair from your local beauty supply store or if you want to save a couple coins, you can get this from Amazon and I am going to have that link down below. So I'm going to first take my, um, this is not a crochet noodle, this is a, um, I forgot what they call this, but I'm going to take the needle and i'm gonna put it in the base of my hair i'm not gonna put it underneath the rubber band i'm gonna put it like before the rubber band so i can hide that you're not gonna see the rubber band at all then i'm gonna take my marley hair and i'm gonna scratch it from each end because i did want these longer than the 24 inches so i wanted to like scratch it a little bit and i wanted to undo the ends because this hair does get tangly as you wrap as well so i'm gonna undo it 
and then I'm gonna split it in half because I didn't want the ones in the front I didn't want it too full so I kind of split the Marley hair in half a few of them if I wanted it to look a little thicker I would leave it as one like I would just use the one Marley hair they do already come pre-strained I didn't have to like separate the whole pack but I did separate a few of them so once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and make one side longer than the other. So that's how I got my length. length. And then I'm going to go in with the passion twist hair. And then that you see the short end. I'm going to use the short end to wrap around the base of my hair. You want to make sure you wrap this really, really tight. Because this is the base of the lock. Your lock will slip if you don't wrap this really, really tight. So I'm just going to wrap it to about an inch to an inch and a half. Basically, I just want to secure the base of the lock. Okay, so once you start wrapping it, you kind of want to put your finger in the way of it. And that's kind of how it creates the butterfly method. So you kind of start wrapping around your finger. And then once you move your finger, it gives it this little loop. Y'all see how I have my finger in there? And I'll wrap it a few times. And then I'll move my finger down. And then I'll start wrapping it. And then I'll wrap it a few times. So y'all see where my finger is. And then I'm going to wrap it wrap it move my finger wrap it wrap it move my finger and that's kind of how it creates the butterfly effect it's kind of like if you know how to do regular faux locks it's kind of the same method or if you know how to do um any type of locks it's really the same method all you have to do is wrap but when you wrap you want to put your finger in the way of the wrap i'm gonna run through that again so y'all can really see what i did but it's pretty self-explanatory Okay, so again, you want to make sure you put your crochet needle underneath your hair and in front of the rubber band. You want to make sure it's in front so you can cover your rubber band once you wrap it. Again, I'm taking the Marley hair and I'm undoing the ends because this hair does get knotted. So just to avoid it knotting up while you're doing it, just go ahead and separate it. I did split the pieces in the front. I split them in half, but the pieces in the back, I wanted it to be a little full. So I kept it as one piece. Once I split my Marley hair in half, I'm going to go ahead and take the Marley hair and put it on the crochet needle. Again, I made it like uneven. One side was shorter than the other side. And I do that just to give it a little length. I wanted it to be 
uneven so I just made one side longer than the other side and I am going to do that with the passion twist hair as well again you want to unravel the hair from the bottom because this hair does get tangled very very easy but I would prefer to use this type of hair than the free trust hair I know I've seen people using that hair but I like how this one already comes separated so it just makes the process a little faster so you're gonna unravel it and once you unravel it, I kind of just run my fingers through it just to thicken the hair up a little bit. You can see I'm wrapping the base of my hair with the shorter end. You want to wrap it to about an inch or two. My hair is really, really short, so I didn't have to wrap it that long. I'm pretty sure my hair already stopped. And then once you get to the end of the short piece, you're going to hold that with the Marley hair. And then you're going to take the long piece and start wrapping. Fighter. 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 Fighter.